Uh, okay, well, let's on to the next movie here. So, talking the sequel to the one that we most recently talked about. It sequel, can't even be called sequels, a sequel. air quotes here, but Jingle All the Way 2, which, so the first one came out in 1996. This one came out in 2014. So, I guess they felt like they really needed to make a sequel for this one. Uh, uh, How do they even get the rights I, uh, to the name? I don't I don't know who can, I who can I don't know. It, a child's father and stepfather engage in an all out battle to get uh their it just says her but it should say their daughter a toy of her dreams for Christmas. Fucking Larry the Cable Guy uh is the lead actor in this direct to TV or DVD sequel to Oh, it was a direct to DVD? Yeah, it was. Um Probably I don't, don't remember at all. I don't know. This movie, I mean, it's Larry the Cable Guy, right? Like, you, I think we kind of got what Can we I, expected out of this. I, I want to say one thing, Matt, about this movie. Yeah. It might be the most forgettable movie I've ever watched. <laughs> yeah. Like, like if, that... if I was watching scenes, I'm like, I'm going to forget these as soon as I'm done with this movie. Yeah, it's probably a good, like, I watched it this morning. I think Bo, like, I think we all watched it in the last 24 hours. So it's probably a good thing. We're talking about it now so we don't just forget about it but so larry the cable guy is larry just himself in this fucking movie yeah uh, has a daughter how he was married to the woman he was apparently married to and had a daughter with her i would never understand because like that just that in itself seems crazy to me um if they, if they were like and somehow had a one night stand, accidentally had a baby, and they like, oh, let's try getting married because we already are going to have a child. That could have been like the plot line that at least, like, yeah, it was a whoops excuse. But yeah. like, even they even admit it, admit it in the beginning. It's like in the first two minutes, you're, he's like explaining to Noel, like, well, your mother is high class, like, white, she's ambitious, like, fancy she's shit. A, yeah. yeah, classical no. music. Yeah, the- I like being a redneck. Yeah, this is basically. What I like said. this fucking fish hook on my rim of my freaking hat. <laughs> I I have like there's like a few things I want to say about this, so I'm gonna let you go, Matt. And we'll okay. figure out the timing to say about it, but this was a fucking ridiculous movie. Yeah. So H- Haley watched kind of the beginning of it with me too, and she kind of it opens with like him living in a trailer in the middle of the woods, and then they drive to somewhere with snow. I'm not sure where, where this takes place, but apparently he just drives Fucking to a, a nearby mountain where they ice fish. Uh, but yeah, you're like kind of what you're talking about. First two minutes is like a downer because like the daughter is like, why aren't you and mom married anymore? And it's like, she's ambitious, high class. And, and I'm just me. All, and all these good things. And yeah, he goes, and I'm me. Right and after I'm doing, yes. right, right after doing a, Cheetos walrus joke. <laughs> hey man, do you like Twinkies? Well, shit, you don't eat Cheetos for breakfast. You eat Twinkies for breakfast. I like being fat and I'm just like, like Jesus. Like this, this movie is just 90 minutes of Larry the Cable Guy doing like little Larry the Cable Guy bit jokes throughout the whole fucking thing. Like, is absolutely so ridiculous. Bad. I'll be totally honest. Like, I am a sucker for Christmas movies, just like Christmas music. Oh, yeah. Like, it's one of those things where. If, and it's like Disney with me. Like if it brings like a general sense of happiness, I'm already kind of like two steps ahead of any other movie that lacks that. So when I first started watching the first few minutes, it's like, you. oh, this seems like it's going to be a sweet and endearing movie. And I was thinking like in the end, Larry Cable, the guy will get his wife back, whatever, which <laughs> obviously was not the plot line. But Definitely not it. <laughs> but uh, It honestly should have been though, because the things that stepdad does in this movie are fucking criminal. Anyways, so, yeah, no, we'll, get, right. we'll, get, we'll get to that, but yeah. keep going, Bo. No, and now all I was going to say was like, so I even like within the first few minutes, I was like, okay, this might be endearing enough that I don't truly hate it. Like it might actually have some redeeming qualities. Like I found myself kind of like slightly smiling at how cute her or his daughter was. Daughter. Dude, yes. The daughter's so cute. And yes. then like she is just, the cutest. Yeah, she was. And then it just it got worse like it literally got worse like larry the king i went from like the most endearing father ever like seeming extremely likable to like 
the fucking whiniest it's so like annoying it's annoying yeah, it's just so <laughs> annoying and like the biggest excuse maker anyways go on but just, like that's all i was saying is like i originally when you mentioned this movie i thought it was gonna be terrible and in the first five minutes i was like all right it might not be terrible and then in the next hour and 20 hour minutes 25, it's just yeah. terrible <laughs> yeah it's just it's yeah it, it is very blah like you're right like I, i'm gonna forget about this movie like after we're done talking about it i'm just never gonna think about it or or watch this movie ever again right. the daughter's cute you get introduced to the stepdad who's just the richest guy in the world apparently like sp- oh, is buying boxes. a t- ten thousand do- well, he's boxes the- yeah yeah he's the president of a box company like how original i guess like i I don't know if it's just boxes are worth a lot. (laughs) There's a lot of boxes. Everyone needs them, I guess, but it's just like it's a very boring job to have him. Like you could. What's more boring, being a CEO owner to a box company or being a mattress salesman? No, they're both bad. Toss up, toss up (laughs) for shit job. They're they're both jobs that I would never pick for a character in a movie to have. Like in a movie, they could literally be anything you want them to be. And you go with mattress salesman for Arnie, and then the stepdad like owns a yeah. box company. Like I don't yeah. know why that's ever it, but it could have been like a tech salesman in the first yeah, one or like, something. And then like uh, talk about the most vanilla character ever, the stepdad. He literally gets his ass kicked by the daughter in a snowball fight. Yeah, and it well, he, it's just Dude, yeah. he's such a pussy. And buying Not- buying a ten thousand dollar Christmas tree, like. No, it was. Are you doing? Was it only ten thousand? Yeah, it's ten thousand. Oh, I thought it was forty thousand. I mean. Oh, because that makes it any different. <laughs> no, I thought it was. Yeah, no, it does. I thought it was way more expensive. Yeah, but still, no, maybe it was forty feet. Maybe that's what they said. It could have been a thousand dollar. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fault you on that because I'm. I, I respect the fact that you weren't paying that much attention. <laughs> oh, I was. <laughs> I was um, trying to figure out how I can make a box company where I can buy a ten thousand dollar forty foot Christmas tree. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's called Amazon. Yeah. No, but I need to make the boxes for Amazon. Amazon can do the rest of the heavy work. That's true. <laughs> so yeah, the basic premise of this is two dads trying to buy their daughter's love, which in itself is like ridiculous to me. Um, I like how. So she writes a letter to Santa for what she really wants for Christmas. And then Larry the Cable Guy is going to read it. But then his friend comes in and is like, whoa, you can't read that. That's a private letter. And your name <laughs> isn't on it. So that's God. actually a felony. And I'm sitting here going, isn't this what parents do, though? Like, I know, like, we're all dads now. But, like, none of us have a kid who's old enough to write a letter to Santa. Isn't that what the plan eventually is? Like, they write a letter to Santa. You then take it and read it and then buy them the things for Santa and say it's from Santa? Isn't exactly. that like and also, that what happens? This guy goes along and helps him along every step of the way after this with the exact plot that he told him not to do in the first place. Yeah, so I just, that was a little ridiculous that he's trying to call him out like that. I think that was just... Also, this guy was in WWE, by the way. Yeah, yeah think- WWE production, by the way, on this, which I think, like, Bo, you kind of wanted to mention a little bit. That blew yeah. me away. I'm like, why is – I mean, I guess I you, you need to get money, and anyone will give you the money, I guess. But, like, a WWE Vince McMahon, production. Dude. When in doubt, go to Vince McMahon. Yeah, I mean, a $5 million budget. I don't know how much he actually had to give up for this, but, like – $5 million? Yeah. Which That's all the budget was? Which is nothing. Like no, that's like that's nothing. Which is nothing like what was the, the what industry. was the budget on Velo- of not Veloc Passer but uh, Troll Hunter? <laughs> oh yeah, Troll Hunter was probably Ooh, close. Might have been, I was gonna been guess two. I was gonna guess two million for that one, but Jesus Christ, that movie was way better production value than three point <laughs> five. Three point five mil for Troll Hunter. That's ridiculous. So pretty similar, actually, pretty close. And one of them was actually good and didn't have like Hollywood behind them, was a Norwegian film. And like, that's because they got to do what the hell they wanted. I know, it's just, it's crazy. I, like, what did they do? Like, I feel like in this situation, whoever, I don't even think Larry the Cable Guy writes his own. I'm not even going to call him Larry the Cable Guy anymore. It's fucking Larry. Too many words. One word. Yeah, why yeah, call Larry. yourself Larry the Cable Guy? 
I feel like Larry. At this point, that's fine for your comedic act, but Jesus Christ, you're if you're trying to star in movies, don't call yourself Larry the Cable Guy. I feel like Larry doesn't even write his own jokes or his own scripts. I don't think he was casted into this. I think that he literally was just like, maybe you can prove this wrong, Matt. Maybe you know that he wrote this movie idea and people are like, this sounds exactly like Jingle All the Way. And then they just told Jingle All the Way producers, whatever, whoever made the film was like, this is similar to you. Do you mind if we just use your name so we can make bank and you'll get some royalties off of it? And they're like, sure, it's been long enough. You're not even using the same actors. So nobody's going to even think about it being the same. They're just going to think it's equal, like just way dumber. Yeah. I don't know. It was, it was terrible. Yeah. It was, oh, well, if you had to guess which state Larry the Cable Guy was from, what would you guess? Well, I know I've seen pictures of him. His name isn't even Larry. And like you see his early comedic stand-up and he's in like a button-down shirt with no facial hair with no and accent he's not from the south that's like a shtick he no. puts up right it's a midwest thing it's a midwest state michigan no. uh south dakota you're getting close north dakota south south dakota <laughs> nebraska okay yeah i mean it's his a- name is daniel lawrence whitney Look at look at videos of him when he was like a comedian before he was an actual actor, and he literally is in like button down attire with no facial hair. Like he had he had no. Oh, before he got his shtick as yeah. Larry, the cable guy. Yeah, he had no shtick when he like originally started. He was like a he was just trying to be a comedian or a comedic actor in the beginning. You know what I will say the the blue collar comedy tour was good. I know for what it was, it's not our brand of comedy, but they did a good job, and I, I enjoyed some of the stuff. That's because he had, like, four different guys. Like, it wasn't – like, when you get Larry for an hour and a half, it's like, oh, yeah, that's too much Larry. It's like when you get just a half hour of four yeah. different guys. It's bad. When it was a half hour, I'm like, it's not bad. Some of it's pretty funny. Yeah. I'm in. But an hour and a half of him as the lead is – I'm sure SNL would be funny, too, if you only gave him, like – they only had to do it once a month. Yeah. And they could skip like, you know, 80% of their It's maybe skits. one skit that whole fucking show each week is decent. Which, Grant, when you got to do it weekly and it's live, like, that's a lot. Yeah. So I almost wish they would. Do, that week. Yeah, like, I, w- I almost wish they would do it like once a month so you'd have more time to like actually do good skits, but whatever. Yeah, make it like a two hour thing. Yeah. Or Saturday, is it only one hour? It's, I, I, I think it's, it's, it's an, an hour. hour and a half. I think it's an hour and a half actually but i i don't know i, I don't know hours. i haven't watched it in forever yeah um but yeah so the premise, larry the cable guy so he opens a letter of course she can't write like legibly yeah, like come like, on your joke. kid's seven she can't write a decent but, Christmas letter yet and it's like, it's one of those things this movie is just so much worse than the the first one because it just doesn't have a lot of that same like in the first one it's okay it's a non-attentive dad trying to win his son over his son actually wants this toy, so he has to go find it. This is an actual good dad, for the most part. Like, an attentive yeah. dad, loves daughter. Yeah. And he thinks he has to go get this toy to win her over. Like, none of it has a decent payoff. Because, like, he reads the letter and interprets it as she wants the Harrison bear. Which, this toy sucks compared to Turbo Man. I was, that's what I was going to say. It's pretty shitty. Fuck? Was like it's this fucking talking bear. Bear. It's a Turbo Man. It's a fucking teddy bear that recites your name. Yeah, it, and it's not even from a show or something in this universe to make it popular. It's just a teddy bear. And and when did this come out? Two thousand fourteen. Yeah, like we're not talking about like nineteen eighty when they had like oh that's incredible technology. Like two thousand fourteen. Yeah. Like. 2014, you still had a phone that could recite, like, whatever information. <laughs> Dude, they're making back. dolls that give you blowjobs. Why would you want a fucking talking bear? <laughs> These are for kids, Quinn. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. For kids, Quinn. Um, <laughs> but, uh, like, <laughs> Blake's written for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, he, well, he was talking about how he's going to buy Blake toys that he really just wants for himself. So, there you go. <laughs> Blake, here's a dirt bike. <laughs> <laughs> It's only 250 cc. <laughs> Perfect. It's a step there's, up. <laughs> there's plenty of empty land in Savannah, I'm sure, to go ride a dirt bike in. There is. Um, empty land and empty heads. Yeah. 
But it, <laughs> they don't even give like a reason that the Harrison Bear is apparently popular. Like at least in the first movie, it's like, okay, yeah. it's a TV show character, action figure, great. This is just a fucking talking bear. And if it wasn't for the dickhead stepdad who's also trying to win the daughter's like love, and he's just so rich, he decides to buy out every single Harrison bear in a 500 mile radius. Like this bear isn't that hard to get. They are fully I mean, stocked in every store. So many that's, of them. That's one of the other things. It's 2014. Fucking type in A M A Z O N D or dot C O M, and then go to the search yeah, bar the and type is, in Harrison Bear. They, but, and well, do you not remember the delivery. explain? They, explain they do actually bring that up. They, 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 yeah, I didn't hear it. They the, do. They the waitress. It. The waitress is like, "Didn't you check eBay or the internet?" And then he was in Larry the Cable Guy. Oh. Everyone says it won't get delivered till the 26th, and I need it on the 25th. Like, okay. <laughs> yeah, they, that's, they covered their basis on that one. Yeah. Which, oh, yeah, it, just like they didn't cover their basis, though, when they're trapped in the storage unit, and it took them, like, 30 minutes to figure out, oh, cell phones is how to escape. No, it wasn't. <laughs> cell phones. He busted through the door with a – No, no. Bo's no, no. <laughs> right. Like, yeah, keep they, going, Bo. They yeah. were like, how do we – they're sitting in there like they got, which by the way was the funniest part about the entire movie. Legit funny was them in the teddy bear fight. <laughs> I was actually laughing at that. <laughs> oh, you got me. <laughs> I legitimately found that really funny. But uh, then that wasn't my funniest part. But That's then we'll they, they, uh, they, they're like, "What are we gonna do?" And Victor is like. How are we gonna get out of here? Oh, cell phones! Like, remember, well, they, he had a cell phone. I know they didn't work. Well, do you but remember they why they don't work? Do you remember what he the building. exact line he that he said? Metal. Building. Yeah, a building goes, full of metal. Cell phones. Oh no, service. Metal building. Like he literally <laughs> just waves his hand around, and goes metal building. That's true like, though. Hey, that's true though, because I work in a metal building now. You, and it, no in, cell phone in service. Savannah, in the middle, of, like. Like yeah. this is a billion hey, I dollar have service. I have service when I go outside the building. Inside the building, there is no service. Just service when he goes to Des Moines like, or Rockford. <laughs> it's like shut up, Bo. This guy owns a billion dollar like box company. He doesn't have a Wi-Fi set up like all over the fucking place where like yeah. he can access stuff. Like I don't know. That was a little weird. I get. There are certain buildings where it's hard to have service, but when it's like... Metal buildings you don't have service in. Okay. I just thought it was a fu- funny delivery of waving your arms around going, nice. metal building. <laughs> metal building. Like, okay. Um, they had right, a teddy bear fight I want to know what your funniest later. part was. I'm a guess. I know I, Matt guessed it, and I thought maybe that was right, and I forgot the part. There was a part that happened after that that I thought was like Quinn would definitely think that's funny. Yeah. That's yeah. Funny. So yeah, yeah. Quinn, Quinn, you was said fifty. You said fifty minutes in was your first laugh of the movie. Yeah. I thought yeah. it was when he was on the right reindeer bowl, and then it's like first and second prize. Is that what yeah. it is, or what was it? Yeah, that was it. That was it. Oh, the premise it? that the first place guy did not win the Harrison Bear. Yeah. I laughed at that. Yeah. I thought yeah. that was pretty good. And then what's my second? The only other time I laughed. It was I, I did have a it was guess. About 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes later. Oh, fuck. I didn't write it down. But there was something that happened shortly after that that I was like, oh, I bet you this was Quinn's second one. I, I, don't, I didn't write it down, though, so I don't remember. What, what was it? What do you think, Bo? You said you thought? I know. I, I remember thinking it, but hold on. Let me see if I can... You guys keep talking for a second. I'll see if I can remember what it was okay. just by like going through the movie. I'll, I'll say this, like Quinn, you didn't like this. Thirty-two minutes into the movie, uh, when <laughs> when uh, Larry is plugging in all the lights, and he goes, and now the piece of the resistance, piece of the resistance, and then yeah, plugs in awkward. the last thing, and he goes flying a hundred feet. Dude, back, I hate that has the shitty bullshit. The, the shitty How many CGI? times did he fly across the screen in this goddamn movie? Like what? three or four? How many fucking poop jokes are in this movie too? There's at least five to six poop. Like when he gets covered in the flocking or whatever of the trees, yeah. which Haley saw that part with me and she goes, it's not enclosed. Why didn't he just walk out? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, good point. But not the point. Uh, he gets covered in the flocking. So he's covered in white. And uh, he goes, oh, 
I need the, the number of the pigeon that hit me with that one. I'm like, oh, a pigeon poop joke. Good one. Like, yeah. Lots of yeah. poop jokes in this movie, which for 2014, I don't know if that's really what we're looking for. But, uh, but yeah, I can't remember. Bo, did you think of the, the – No, I think it was, like, something said. So I don't think, like – I just, like, went through the, like, next 10 minutes because I know it was close to that point. But looking at the video, I couldn't figure out what it was. But I just remember being like, that seems like it would be a Quinn joke. What was it, Quinn? It was the kid. It was the kid after oh, the he did the homeless thing. Off. Not that, but when he said, and this is why kid people don't have kids. That no, that is it. Yes, he's like, no, he said this is why people have pets. Yes, that was the <laughs> that joke. That is what I literally was like, that yeah. is Quinn, a Quinn joke. That I think that's I think that's what I thought of too. Yeah. That was my only other time I laughed. <laughs> yeah, it's after the kid goes like sucker. And he yeah, goes, ha, yeah, sucker. And he's like, This is why people only have pets. And I'm like, ah. That's good. <laughs> I'm so happy that that's what you said because that is 100% what I was trying to think of. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, it. That's about right. Uh, so, yeah. That was uh, it. I was done laughing after that. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, but, yeah, basically the premise is Larry's trying to find Harrison the talking bear, and the stepdad found out that he's trying to get the talking bear, so he hires his head of security he tells his head of security. Dude, talk about the most go. douchebaggy character of all yeah. time. So he goes out to every store ahead of Larry and buys out all the Harrison Bears, which again, this is not that hard of a toy to get if it wasn't for this one stepdad just buying everything out. So that kind of defeats the purpose of like a Turbo Man where it's actually sold out and, yeah. and hard to get. Like this is just kind of lame in comparison. Um, but the, and it's like it's it's also lame because you just knew that she didn't write Harrison Bear, right? Like it wasn't that yes. hard. Like I didn't know what it would be in the end necessarily. But when he's like having a hard time reading her handwriting, and the fucking toy manager goes, "She must mean Harrison Bear." Oh, talk about that asshole. Immediately met, went. Well, she doesn't really want a Harrison Bear. You know, so it's like you just saw it coming, and yeah, that. The toy manager guy is, this is a weird I'm guy. I'm sorry saying that to all you guys. Happy Christmas, happy Kwanzaa, happy Hanukkah, and a happy winter solstice. That was, was one of the, I don't know if we're going to get into this. I don't know if we want to keep talking about the toys, but that's one of the things I wanted to bring up that was so fucking stupidly annoying about this. That was like the most Larry the Cable guy built for stupid fucking like racist country like xenophobic moms ever was any time that anybody said happy holidays or anything that wasn't merry christmas larry the cable guy's response was yeah merry christmas and all that jazz or shit like brushing it off like it's actually a thing and it's like why do you have to make that a subject like you're just literally politicizing christmas in your stupid already terrible movie because you're already <laughs> demonstrating that larry's a redneck and he has redneck tendencies and like you're just acting redneck and c catering towards redneck people. Like I don't. Uh, that oh, I was, totally missed that. Oh, it, every time someone said happy holiday, even happy holidays. There was one point where somebody, some guy said happy holidays, and the, Larry was literally like Merry Christmas and whatever. Like as whatever he said something like and all <laughs> that shit or all that jazz or whatever. I was like, what are you? Why is that even a thing? Just have them say happy holidays or just even have them say Merry Christmas to you too back and just don't make it. It was clearly evident the way they were trying to write Larry's character that he was supposed to be like annoyed that they weren't just saying Merry Christmas. Mm, I missed that. It was, but, yes. I don't know if you caught it, Matt, but like I, I it was didn't. like, I believe long. it. It was one, it's just one of those things. It's like, why you don't even have to write this into the story? Yeah, like it was written for. Like I said, just probably like your standard suburban house mom who gets angry at the people that say happy holidays the Karen. and a Merry Christmas. The Karen, <laughs> all the Karens out there. Yeah. Um, people that I got was... mad about like red cups from Starbucks two years ago. Or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I do remember that. That was so fucking stupid. Um, I will say, I didn't see the this toy manager being the like slumlord black market like <laughs> dealer. That was a shout out to the first movie. Oh, for sure. hundred percent out of nowhere and really weird. Um, 
that guy in general is just weird, but Dude, he gives me the creeps. Yeah. Um, but then, yeah. So in the end, of course, she didn't really want a Harrison bear. She just wanted their family to be together, which I like how they like CG. It's like the letters realigned. So it actually spelled oh, it. Oh, your handwriting so, just sucks. Yeah. Um, I did kind of thought it was a little, not funny, but kind of interesting. I didn't expect that they actually did turn the fact that he's buying up all the bears to be like an issue, like actually pissing off other parents. That was <laughs> you know? nice. Like, I was like, okay, like I, that makes sense. And then, yeah. you know, Larry, like they turned it into like a charitable thing at the end to make him look better, like whatever. Um, I don't know. This movie is just, it's nothing. It's, don't watch it. Don't, like, people don't need to see yeah, it. It's the most forgettable movie I've ever seen. Yeah. Um, Haley did laugh, and I chuckled at it too, at one other joke or scene. I don't know if it's really a joke. He's uh, eating junk food with his buddy in the trailer, and his phone starts ringing, and he can't find it. And he digs oh, it yeah. out of the chip bowl. Yeah. And then his friend goes, At least goes, it wasn't in the dip. Yeah, his friend, at least it wasn't in the dip bowl. I had a slight chuckle at that. Um, but. You guys are sleep deprived. It's okay. Yeah, probably. I started it like last night, uh, so I probably was a little sleep deprived. Uh, I started watching at five thirty this morning. <laughs> there you go. Also sleep deprived. Um, <laughs> you guys are last, in it. The last thing is like I gotta assume him driving a red pickup truck is just uh, like an ode to Mater. Shout out to cars. cars. Yeah, like the, yeah. right. Like that's his only successful that's movie a, thing. That's the cars. first thing I thought of when I saw it. Yeah, like it has to be, which. He's the thing I hate most about that franchise. Like, Mater, like, this, again, just him doing the redneck thing. I'm just so yeah. over it. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, this one is probably garbage to me. It's fucking garbage. It's, it's garbage. Actually, this one is very much garbage. All right. Let's round this out with our last draft here. So, sequels. Ooh, I know got some good ones. Bo Boy. gets the first pick. And then me, and then Quinn. I get first uh, pick? Yep. This sucks. Because my draft is going to be terrible. Like, there's no way. You said that last time, and then your draft ended up being very good. No, yeah, but that's because I kind of got that. The, the bathroom break helped. <laughs> Clear the mind. You need to take, <laughs> like, I need to take another bathroom days. break? No. No, this one's not going to help. Because you, you already know I don't watch that many movies. It, it's, so, like, it's fine. I mean – it's fine. You could put this on your list. So we're doing worst sequels of all time. So number one pick, so what do you got? I'm going to try and just name ones that I've seen. So like, hey, yeah, that's fine. That's, that's what not even be do. the worst of all time. And I might forget the names of them. Like, but so the first one I was going to say, and I think it it's historical, not just historical, but like comparing to the first or first and second movie, I'm going with, Jaws, the Revenge. Yeah, the fourth ah, one. Yeah, that was on my list. Yeah, that, that should be garbage. It should be on everyone's list. Any, that was any on mine. Jo- I had I had any of the Jaws sequels. The second garbage. one, I won't call the yeah, second one terrible. The third one right. is the the fourth one is the worst. That's Michael Caine is in that, and he has like openly said that that was like a paycheck role for him. So and it's about a shark that literally follows a family. Like it's just absolutely ridiculous. So I put oh, that, any of those on my list. That was number two on my list, actually. So that's a good pick. Uh, okay, mine. So I put Son Son of the Mask. This is the only movie Son of the on, Mask. So this is the only movie on my rankings that I I have a zero out of ten for. It's the worst movie I've ever seen in my fucking life. And oh, it's wow. Jack and Jill. I've never seen Jack and Jill. So I'm sure sure the worst Jack movie you've ever seen in your life before, so but... far. Yes, probably so far. But it, it's similar to with like Jingle All the Way, where it's kind of just a sequel in name. Like, yeah, the mask is there, but there's no returning characters. They ch- kind of changed the mask, too. And they actually introduce and show like the gods and Loki. And I'm just like, this is so bad. It's just so bad. Is Jamie Kennedy, who is just only, I feel like, in bad movies. I don't know. It's just, it's terrible. It's the worst movie I've ever seen. So, Son of the Mask is my first pick. 
right. Two, two um, for you, Quinn. Oh, uh, two then? Okay. <laughs> I've got a couple that have just leave a bitter taste in my mouth. Um, Anchorman 2 has got to be number one for That's me. On, I have yeah, that on I, my list. I rarely turn off movies during the movie. Uh, I will always finish the movie because I just I got to. It's part of how I think. I we I watched this with April and we turned it off about 10 minutes in. We're like, this saw, is awful. I saw it in theater, so I couldn't turn it off. <laughs> I would have walked out. I've I never mean, walked out of a movie. I would have walked out of this fucking movie. Between that and Zoolander 2, those are like two. Oh, that was, I mean, yeah, that bad. Was like oil draft picks, I guess. Like, but those are two. Yeah. Now that I'm in it, that like, I've never seen them. But the fact that they were so hyped up, and then after they got released, I literally never heard a word about them. I had the, to assume the that they were is, just that the bad. The first ones, it's it's how okay. So the first ones are so good of each of those movies, like. But why? Why are those so much better than the seconds? Because the second ones are still that dumb kind of humor. But the first ones are so they they hit. But the second ones just miss. With the Anchor Man, with Anchor Man, I felt like it was just the same thing over again, which isn't funny to me. But then yeah. they like the things they change don't make it better. So like instead the news anchor fight, they made it bigger and it, and had more people. But I didn't it made make it, it worse. That far. But it made it worse. Yeah, they like. Harrison Ford is like a news anchor person that fights in like the but he turns into a werewolf and I'm just like this doesn't make sense not that it really needs to make sense but it's just stupid I don't know it's hard to describe but there's like I didn't a make smart it through the bus scene Matt I mean it didn't make it through the bus scene I, was, I don't know the bus scene was so bad I was like I'm out I'm out I can't do this yep. fucking I, I had Anchorman 2 on my list so that, okay. that's a good one um, what's, what's your next one Ooh, this is tough. I'm going to pick one that I don't think any of you have. <laughs> Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. The one with Matthew McConaughey. That one... Wait, what year did that come out? Uh, early 90s. Okay, not what I was thinking of. Okay. Bad. The first two are awesome in their own rights. First one is classic. Yeah. Like, it's... will stand the test of time. The second one is still really good, but very different. And the third one is just garbage. Matthew McConaughey is the probably his worst role I've ever seen him it in. Does. I usually like Matthew McConaughey, but he's so over the top in this role, and it doesn't fit. And the movie is just a mess. They try to remake the first one, kind of, and it's just a fucking mess. It's, it's better terrible. or worse than the movie we talked about recently in Tiptoes. Is that worse than oh, Matthew McConaughey? I like Matthew McConaughey in Tiptoes. Yeah, yeah. I think it wasn't bad. Like he's, yeah, yeah. he's the only redeeming quality of that whole movie. I mean, he did this yell, I'm a dwarf in that movie. But, you know. that, that's fine. That's <laughs> why I'm okay with that. It's still better than this train wreck of a movie. It's so bad. The <laughs> third one is so bad. Say <laughs> it. Say it. He's a dwarf. <laughs> He's a dwarf. a dwarf. That's why he is hurt. <laughs> Say it. Right. Say it, Kate. Say it. Oh, okay. That's the chainsaw mask. All right. Yep. Garbage. Um, I am going to go with uh, Superman 4. Did you guys ever see that one? Hmm. Probably that not. I wouldn't. Is that the one where he gets shot in the eye? That's what they kept showing in the preview. No, that's actually that's Superman Five or whatever with Brandon Ralph. This is the last one made with Christopher Reeve, and it came out in the late '80s or early '90s. So this came out when like, like kind of the Cold War was going on. So maybe it was the late '80s. Superman takes all nuclear weapons in the world and put throws them in the sun to like end war. Um, but by doing so, created it's terrible. Like don't it's, it's it ended that Superman franchise. Don't, don't don't preface it. Keep finishing that. And so okay, fine. Well, Gene Hackman is back as Lex Luthor, and he puts Perfect. something on one of the bombs that's going to go into the sun that creates the villain. His name is Nuclear Man, and um, how original. Yeah, <laughs> and they have a fight on the moon where like. If you take Nuclear Man out of sunlight, then he's weak. I don't know. It's it's just so bad. I, it's <laughs> tough to describe. It ended the Superman franchise until they tried redoing it with Brandon Ralph, the one you were talking about. 
Okay. Um, it isn't a movie I expected either of you to see, but never even heard of it. It's it's very very bad. Don't see it. <laughs> I won't even think of it ever again. <laughs> or unless I unless I like decide that we should watch it for this. <laughs> no, I strongly disagree. No. You're supposed to like yeah. If you're like, if you it know it's bad of all time, yeah. At least, like, when we, like, mention movies that potentially could be good or we know are good. Oh, maybe like maybe good Superman thing. 4 is not my taste, but it's your guys' taste. Like, you don't know until you try. No, I'm, no, I'm going to strongly disagree with that. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go with the, the superhero geek would probably like superhero <laughs> movies more than... I'm a nerd, not a geek. Care yeah, I've myself. seen two Marvel movies. I've not, I I couldn't name one Marvel movie I've ever seen. Iron Man one and two. I haven't seen them. <laughs> I maybe I have like in passing, but you've definitely seen the first Iron Man, the one that started it all. Thanks a lot. I honestly don't know. I honestly couldn't tell you. All right, so, Yep, you got two in a row. <sighs> I was gonna almost try and get creative, but I'll keep it to movies. It's yeah, it. funny. You could. <laughs> I would oh, just say good, it. Like, you don't have to keep it to movies. Those are the funny the ones. Box, right? I Those think are... World War Two is pretty bad. <laughs> that was that was arguably the worst war of the two. <laughs> yeah, so. I mean, it's tough to follow up a war that's labeled the Great War. So I mean, it was set up for failure yeah. from the beginning. Yeah, exactly. I mean, at least the good guys won, but there was a lot of pain oh. death involved. <laughs> Oh man, that's good. That was a good joke. <laughs> that's a good one. So, uh, World War Two. Yeah, World War Two. <laughs> right, you a, throw it. It's a pretty throw bad it on the list. It's going up there. And then I'm gonna go with going back to movies. I never seen this, but the fact that I never even knew it existed in the first one is such like an OG original movie, and specifically, it's such an OG original movie to like a. Uh, like sector of life that probably doesn't like relate to any of us you know like it's one of those movies that like everything else in this I know what you're gonna category, say. I mean girls too not what i mean was girls too yeah i, I didn't even it. know there was a mean girls too. i didn't that's I what didn't, i'm saying i didn't i've never seen it until, but the fact that i didn't even know wait it existed. a second I, I didn't Google either until I started looking at lists of like worst sequels of all time just to make sure I wasn't missing anything, and I saw it on every list. But I just, I just didn't wait a second. Really there's a Mean Girls it. two. Yeah. Oh my it's, god. I'm sure. It's a, I'm sure it's the same exact thing as Jingle All the Way two, where it's the same premise, new actors, direct to DVD, which probably this makes exists. it rightfully so to be on this list. This fucking exists. That's literally the fact, like I said, that I didn't know it even existed was like enough for me to be. Tim and, Meadows is in it. Oh, uh, one reoccurring. That's uh, it. Character then. He plays. He plays the principal. The principal. He was the principal he plays in the first the fucking one. Fucking principal again. Wait, is this Emma Stone's sister, Jennifer Stone? Well, she looks exactly like her. Not exactly like her, but enough to be her sister. Well, there's only one way to find out. That's definitely not a lie at all, Google. Um, I am not seeing that. No. Okay, well, but I like, found out Emma Stone got married this year. Hold on. Tell me this doesn't – am I just, like, losing No, she, she looks like her. Like, I see – I Googled a picture. It does. Yeah. But I'm not – Wikipedia doesn't say anything about being sisters. No, it doesn't. You're right. No, it doesn't. Bunch of Disney stuff, though. <clears throat> weird so, so no i'm glad you included it even if like you haven't seen it i'm glad it's been said <laughs> that this movie exists. i didn't even know this movie existed so <laughs> thank you <laughs> maybe you don't want to thank me maybe it's better off you didn't know it existed yeah, maybe um i am gonna go with the hangover part Three. I mean, you could say part two and three, but it was good. But three is the worst one to me. Yeah, by is. far. Two is good still. Two is okay. But yeah, I'm going to Hangover. That movie. That's I one also, of the few movies that like I didn't 
turn it off, but I was so close to turn it off. And like halfway through it, I'm just going, this is fucking stupid. They needed to not make this. The only thing, it's pretty bad. The only thing is I feel like I haven't seen any of the hangovers in the last like, I don't know, eight years. I don't even know when three came out, but I feel like I was young enough that no matter what, as long as they were playing along with the same theme as like, like delinquent morons that were just like trying to party and go through like bachelor parties and bachelor life and like whatever it still played into yeah but my mindset. you know like it's like project x is a terrible movie but i remember when yeah, project x came out right. like, this you're is right dumb. and that's yeah. right that's, you're right and that's why the second one is okay because that's what the Bo, second one timeline is. for you but timeline hangover came out in 2009 okay Hangover two was 2011 Okay. Hangover 3 was 2013. So been the, flirting. The third <laughs> one, the reason the third one sucks though, is because the second one does follow that same kind of premise, but the third one is Ken Jong is in it again, and it turns into this heist movie because John Goodman is like, oh, oh Ken, Ken Jong owes me. One, they're like trying like, to break through the wall or yeah, whatever. They're trying to break into a house and like, like steal something, and it's just yeah different like it's completely different from anything that made the first one good so that's why it's just it's so bad yeah but how do you how do you take the first premise and read and try to use it again well i don't think you can movie? you can't like and you, i mean you did that's the problem with making sequels sequels either got to build on a story that i mean that's the only way you make a good sequel is you have to build you have to find Okay, you had a story in the first one. Can you tell what what started that story, like a prequel or a sequel? What what continued after that? Or you story? or you I mean, joke on out. itself, kind of like Twenty Two Jump Street. That one is perfect. They, they like it's Amazing. the same thing. They do meta jokes where they're like, just do the same thing that you did last time, but then they like change a couple things. Yeah, like because they're making fun of themselves. Like that's yeah, cool. that one's a great sequel, but. All these ones, like the, the Hangover, you, you've done that premise. You, you can't do it again. You did it kind of in the Hangover too, but it's a completely different setting. There's a lot of funny stuff there. But but I mean, to the, they did try doing something different, but it was just shitty. Yeah, yeah. So. it wasn't good. All right, Quinn, last two. Last two, okay. Um, Rocky Five, awful. I do remember that one getting shit on a lot. Awful. Four is awesome. Yeah. Even though it's not awesome. a good movie. Four is awesome because it's like, yay, America. Like, yeah. like Rocky, it's did, awesome. Rocky defeats it's awesome in a, in the Soviets a, during the Cold yeah. War. It's it's awesome <clears throat> in its own little sphere uh, of what it is. Even though it's not a good movie, it's still awesome. Uh, five is just garbage. It's terrible. And then... Um, you guys probably didn't even know this existed. Weekend at Bernie's 2. <laughs> Why would you make a sequel to that? Is it the same dead body? It's the same dead body. <laughs> Still just wobbling them around. <laughs> Doesn't de- fact, decay or anything. Fun <laughs> fact. You know the Bernie dance? You know the Bernie dance? Yeah, stuff? of course. I've done the Bernie dance. That happened in the second girls. movie. It didn't happen in the first movie. Oh, really? Okay, well, something good came out of it then, at least. The only good thing from that whole... Oh, it's not the worst sequel ever. That's what I was going to say that, but but whatever. Something good came out of it. (laughs) Um, That's all I got. I suppose it's going to be... Well, I've got some other honorable... Yeah, say I've got a list here, but... I only have one pick left, don't I? Yeah, I've got one, and then you've got one. Oh, so. yeah, I thought you were about to go into your honorable mentions. I was like, No, well, I was going to say, like, if I'm going to be serious, I would probably say the Santa Claus 3, but it's not as good of a joke as, like, as World War Two. It's not really a joke, but Godfather Part 3. <laughs> I don't know why you I go hate, for a joking one. I, I do not like the Godfather Part 3, but it's, a, like, objectively kind of a good movie. It got nominated for a bunch of Oscars. A lot of people hate that movie, though. Well, you're like kind of comparing it though to like. So Matt, you're I like did the have two finest restaurants in Paris, and then you're like, I'm gonna just go eat at like your standard place that's still good, but it's not. So my thing with The Godfather Part Three is comparative to the first two, it's shit. But comparative to like the rest of movies, 
it's still a really good movie. Yeah, that's how I was, that's how I was trying to hint Yeah, at. I know what you meant. You're literally comparing it to like the two of the top 50 greatest movies of all time. Yeah, but I still, I get that like objectively some people still think it's, I don't even like it. Like I don't even, I wouldn't even call it like that good of a movie. Like it's, there's a, a guy well, sleeps with his tenet. cousin in it. Like there's incest in the movie. What? Zero, zero to Tenet. Zero out of, it sounded like you said zero out of Tenet, like the movie Tenet. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was like, what? Uh, but I <laughs> hear what you're saying. Um, you go all the way to to tenant like where does it fall on that <laughs> yeah. spectrum 10, 10 ET. um yeah i'd want to rewatch it to like give it like an actual rating but i would probably put it somewhere in like the fives or sixes i don't know i think it's people think it's better than it actually is so that's I think just like the main the godfather carries it a little bit more yeah. weight than it actually you made me think of something when you were talking about it though so because right. we're talking we're talking about like greatest movies of all time like factor like picture you're the greatest movie of all time there's no debate about it and then the sequel happens and you don't even basically make it to movie theaters going jerry rice jr <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. Is Jerry Rice's son. That's a movie. No, no he's it's a, a person. He's Rice. saying he's a, he's saying he's a sequel to Jerry Rice. <laughs> Wayne Where Gretzky's Jerry Rice son, is like the undisputed best. I'm and bad with movies. Son... I didn't come up with other ideas. No, that's fine. You couldn't say Charlie Woods because Charlie Woods is like yeah, he looks pretty good. <laughs> he, he looks like he's going to be better than Tiger. He did. Um, yeah, no, Jerry, uh, was he was he on a high school team with a bunch of other stars, or am I thinking of someone else? Like, Joe Montana's know. son was, like, a quarterback at a high school with a bunch of other, like, famous people, kids. I know I made – I, like, tried to make sure that I found out, like, a junior and not just, like, a son to somebody. Yeah, like, so, same no, name. Like, yeah, it's like a, a part. Yeah, yeah it's like a part two. Yeah. But, yeah, he, like, he got signed – he pl- first off, he played college at UNLV, and then he played – he got an invite to camp. He, he went undrafted for the Ravens. He got cut in camp, and then he got a camp invite to the 49ers. <laughs> and then he got a camp invite to the Redskins. And then he got a camp invite to the Montreal whatever team, uh, <laughs> the Canadian Football League. Good old CFL. So he was cut from the Canadian Football League the same year he was signed. That's about what level of receiver he is. And he's not young. He's 29. Like, his career is over. Yeah, that's not great. Especially when you – Jerry Rice is, you know, one or two greatest of all time. Yeah. You can't even make a CFL roster. Probably not doing too hot, but. I right. like the fact that you said one or two greatest of all time. And I think – Gonna be Randy Moss, yeah. greatest of all time. Randy Moss, I think it's hey, Randy he's the Moss. greatest in his prime. But guess what? Jerry Rice was still catching like fourteen hundred yards and ten touchdowns at age forty when Randy Moss was sitting on his ass doing camera work. If Jerry Rice, uh, yeah, he made it a Super Bowl with Oakland. I mean, they lost, but he had that scored a touchdown in that Super Bowl. So didn't he go to Seattle after that too? And kind of I think he did. fizzled out there. Anyways, Quinn is disengaged because it's football talk. Uh, so Jerry Rice oh, Jr. What are we talking about? There we go. Um, all right, so there we Zaire go. Wade. I could change it to Zaire Wade because apparently he's not very good at basketball. If his last name wasn't Wade, <laughs> like he'll be like a three-star recruit and play college basketball, but he'll never make the NBA. Well, he'll make the NBA, but like G League. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just he'll be floating for, around the Euro League forever. Maybe yeah. make it over to China. All right, my honorable mentions. Uh, honorable mentions. I had Pitch Perfect two and three. Those are both. Those are shit. Yeah, uh, I actually like the first one a lot though. <laughs> and then I said any Pirates movie after the third one is just been shit. Ooh, I you forgot about the Pirates and, films. Any Fast and Furious movie after the what? I didn't even think about Fast and Furious movies, but and, like the first one either. was fine. I thought Too Fast, Too Furious was still fine, even though it's cheesy. It's fine. I didn't even hate Tokyo Drift. 
No, people, that's the one that I think gets the worst reviews out of the Tokyo them, Drift isn't that bad. I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it either. I liked that it was one different. One after too. that that I thought was okay, and I thought after that it kind of. I think five is the one most people say is, like, the best one. I think that's the first one with The Rock. So, like, that's, like, the. It is. Oh, so maybe that one was okay. Is yeah. that the one where they're in Rio? Nine. I think so. The fourth one is like meh. That's like literally, it's Fast and Furious. It's the same title as the first, but they took oh, yeah, the yeah. out of it. That's when that's when Brian is still a cop. Yeah. And then he like turns into whatever. I, I thought seven was good. Five. I thought I seven was five. good. What's the one where they uh, they bust in the bird Khalifa? Seven. Oh that's, god, I was just laughing that whole that was, that was that's the that's the funny stunt like you kind of got disbelief there, but that's the one where they have the send off to Paul Walker. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. the one he died so, in. Yeah, I don't that's, even remember. That's it. the one he died in. I don't even freaking remember. I stopped watching probably caring about this series oh, yeah. after Fast and Furious. The yeah. 2009 one. The four, four that's Dwayne four. Was there. Yeah, that's that's the last one before The Rock. So yeah, that's probably the last one that I, I was think, like, Ooh. I don't think any of them are bad. Like they're all just the same thing. So I just I wouldn't have put them on. Yeah, this but they list. get more and more ridiculous as you go. They do, like, but they re- they recognize it. Like they they know. You know what I mean? Oh, I like, know they know, but it's like the first one was so down to earth. Oh yeah, it uh, went from street it, racing to like. Working We're for the FBI. The fucking world. Yeah, like it's just that's ridiculous. But so uh yeah, and then Santa Claus three, I kind of mentioned already. Taken two and three. I was gonna say yeah. Taken. Ah, those are good. Those are I, good bad movies. I like Taken One a lot. Yeah, the first one's good. Taken one's a lot is awesome. Yeah. Uh and it's then the ride. last honorable mention I had is Star Wars related. This newest Star Wars movie, The Rise of Skywalker. I really did not like that movie. <laughs> And it like closed out this trilogy, and it just was bad. I did not like it. The only other one that I <laughs> wrote down, oh, two I had <laughs> written down. I first off, I didn't know that a Sandlot two and three happened. Yeah, yeah. Girl pitcher in one of them. People hated that for some reason, like just because she's oh, a girl. I'm like, get shelled. What? In reality, she would get shelled. <laughs> Fucking ring her up. <laughs> 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 you you can cut that one if you want, Matt. <laughs> maybe, right. maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's good. If we didn't get, if we didn't cancel for talking about midgets, a little bit. <laughs> there was some editing that went into tiptoes, but <laughs> oh, lame. The other one is Major League Two. Oh come I, on! That was I put I put Major League Three out before. I don't even know Major two. League Three really happened. Wait, which yeah. one was the one where they switched the characters? They literally switch. They were the same players, but they were completely different actors. The only in in number two, the only actor that changed Willie? was there was no Wesley Snipes. Yeah, number okay. two is still good. I still like two. It's okay. Yeah, like it's not bad. Um, but yeah, Wesley Snipes got replaced by a different actor. I just Everyone saw else came back. The third one, they don't replace them. It's just new characters because it's back to the minors. They go to the minor league. No, I don't think I've seen three. And I, I think two, it's just two, and I was pissed off that it's not yeah. like the same players that were <clears throat> not the same players, but the same actors. Yeah, just the one. Well, and Wesley Snipes is like the one of the best parts of the movie. Isn't so Caddyshack like, two is supposed to be terrible? Too? That's terrible. Yeah, it's I've really never bad. seen it, which is why it's not on my list. But I hear that it's terrible. And I refuse to watch it, which is why it's not on my list. So you don't get disappointed? Yeah, exactly. Um, but, yeah, back to the minors. There's two characters that come back from the original movie, Serrano, and then the Japanese player. Those two are in back to – and then Corbin Burnson is, like, the owner of the team. Uh, Roger Dorn, like, the third baseman guy. But, yeah, that's just a new cast, so it's – Kind of lame. That one's that's the one I would put on here, over number two. But number two is definitely not as good as the first one. So first one is like top ten greatest sport movie. Of all oh yeah, so. that movie's awesome. awesome. Okay, awesome. That closes out that uh, draft. Um, dude, I didn't get my best honorable mention. Oh, I thought you said you didn't have any. Go for it. No, I got one, possibly two. 
I'll say the first one that's maybe not as good. Uh, the third Mad Max movie. Thunderdome. Thunderdome? It's all right. It's not great. Not great. Right. Then, that's the worst one out of all of them. One that we can all agree on. The Dumb and Dumber that just came out with. Dumb and Dumber. I haven't seen it. I refuse to see it because I, I hear it's terrible. It. It's bad. It's I, awful. Actually, it's... I, I turned it off. Even it the prequel so is bad. The Oh, oh dumb, is, dumb and dumber. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that plays in the same role as Anchorman, Zoolander. Well, obviously not Dumb and Dumber. It's like at a certain point, like you're just rehashing a movie because you yeah. know it's gonna make money, and you know, like. Yeah, I not got excited because usually they don't bring back the same. Actor. Yeah, like Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels coming back gives you a little bit of hope because like they're yeah. good actors, but. Nope, <laughs> still terrible. That's oh, another good. one. Another one along the same vein. Little Fockers was terrible. That's that's on like every list I saw, but I have I haven't seen any of those movies past the second one, and I think there's four or five of them. I'm trying Meet to remember if I've seen was good. I remember like I know it, but I don't know if I've seen it. Meet the Fockers was good, and then Little Fockers was the one right after that. It's terrible. It's yeah. the one with the kid. It's like grown up. It's so bad, and it's still got it's still got Ben. And it's still got um Bob De Niro. Yeah, Robert's in it too. Bobby D. Bobby D. Bad. Yeah, I heard that's bad. I've only seen the first two. And I like the first two. So first two are good. Nice. All right. Well, here you go. You're welcome. You have now seen Jingle All the Way and Jingle All the Way Two. You're welcome. I like the first one. I'm not upset seeing yeah, that. The first one, one was not bad. <laughs> And the, the second, second one, one? I'm not going to lie. The last 10 minutes, not 10 minutes, last five minutes of the second one, I was hitting the arrow button on my keyboard waiting for something interesting to show up. It was like five seconds, five seconds, five seconds. I was I was doing work while I was watching it, and I'm like, <laughs> work got too. more important than That's that. What, I had it on the background while working this morning to finish it off at least, so... Oh, it just, it it just knew, as soon as through. I saw Larry the Cable Guy was in it, I just knew what it was going to be, and it didn't didn't disappoint. Very not even, like, how do you go from Arnold Schwarzenegger to fucking Larry the Cable Guy? Another another great bit. You didn't like this part when he tries bringing the snow down, and oh, it yeah, melts. It's water. And oh, it and melts, water. and he opens another, it up. Another another. How many how many fucking jokes is it where he's flying across the screen because he got hit by something? Which that wouldn't happen. Like I mean. Not that the electricity shock would fly him 100 feet back anyways, either. So uh, It's so stupid. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, so, next is, what was the one we did before this? Tiptoes. And that was Bo. So, Quinn, you're up, right? But, right? Because, Bo, you did tiptoes? I did pick tiptoes, even though it was Quinn's. <laughs> fault <laughs> yeah he brought it up but there you go oh come on that was a good choice <laughs> it was a good one that was a good that choice it might have been my favorite one we like did. i said that's the <laughs> longest episode we had there's a lot to talk about stupidly <laughs> absurd uh what's so, on the list matt i've got one yeah. in mind but what's on the list i've got i could tell you what i'm 90 percent sure i'm picking cube next time yeah 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 you brought i that looked up. that up bo that looks legit i'm in <laughs> okay um it's I'll old see, it's definitely it. gonna date itself in the cgi but yeah. the premise looks awesome so i've got ones that we've talked about tremors warriors of virtue which i actually had a co-worker who listens to to us uh he brought that movie up i thought we like, were just sitting on here bullshitting with each other for yeah, wait, you're <laughs> recording this <laughs> yeah, wait what <laughs> Do you know what I talked about with tiptoes? <laughs> um, uh, he listens and like, oh, you he, take it all back. Women can totally pitch in the MLB. <laughs> <laughs> he, he actually brought up Warriors of Virtue. He goes, that would be a good one for you guys to do. And I'm like, oh, that one's been brought up to potentially do. Um, I want to Google it. I don't know it's, what that's Quinn about. and I. I think have seen. Oh it. yeah, man. it was a childhood I, movie for me. I think I'm gonna go with Tremors. Oh, so we can go with Four Lions. Only because I've seen it and I know Tremors. it's good, so I just want to rewatch it. I think I think because I think we need to do Tremors as a live watch. Yeah, we've I all think, seen it. I think Tremors would be a good. That's what I was gonna say. I think it'd be a good live watch. But we've not, I haven't seen it in. I haven't seen it in a while. At least five to <laughs> five to ten years. Oh yeah, yeah. I was gonna say like 
I haven't seen it since, <laughs> since high school, maybe, from start to finish. So, high school, school okay. for so me. it's been probably since college days. <laughs> Yeah, I think, the last time I, saw I, think that. I think that'd be a good one. That's another one that has shitty sequels to it. Yeah. 